Hey guys, Chatty Dad One. Well, well, seems like uh, the Federals are providing the local, state, and federal officers with more and more firepower every day. Our county police departments, city police departments, state police departments are seeing an influx of military vehicles being provided to them from the military left over up for grabs. It's part of the retrograde um, thing that, that they're bringing everything from Afghanistan home for a war that has not happened yet that is foreseeable in the future. Now, tell me when it takes this kind of a vehicle to serve a warrant or to make a search on a home. Unless you're going up against the Mexican cartel, drug cartel, or something like that. And in that kind of a situation, you can um, request the assistance of the National Guard, it being a serious home security threat, homeland security threat. And they'll give assistance. But they've gone way too far here. Every police officer is now a commando. And it's not just these MRAPs and stuff that they've uh, provided them with. It's weapons, M16s, MP4s, it's grenades, it's rocket launchers, it's you name it. Whatever the military has used and has been using to combat terrorism will be used to combat homegrown terrorists here in the United States. Homegrown terrorists are the ones that I'm talking about that they are after. The kind like Cliven Bundy and those militia men who supported him and stood with him against the BLM. This is a very real situation, people. Very real. I want to show you this. This is from uh, Sharp Pencil. This is from 2011 to Pentagon giving billions in military equipment to local police forces. The militarization of the United States has taken a huge step forward in recent years as the Pentagon has been supplying local police forces free of charge with a wide array of military equipment, M16 assault rifles, surveillance drones, helicopters, armored vehicles, and grenade launchers. The recent designation by the Obama administration of the entire country as a battlefield in TWAT was not a symbolic or procedural matter. Procedural matter, I'm sorry. <laughs> the U.S. government has declared war on its own people, and having seen the anger and potential power of the Occupy movement. It is busy making battle plans. I will further carry this over to having seen the potential threat that is posed against the Federation, against those United States citizens who love and honor freedom and our rights, has uh, set them back on their heels a little bit. But they are fully prepared to unleash the dogs, and they have the means to do it. So, uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll put a link to this below. But, yeah, here we have all of this stuff. All these police officers militarized. That's why you have officers shooting and killing people instead of trying to talk them down or talk them out 
and stuff like that. They're blowing people away. And just go ahead and kill them and uh, deal with it later. And as far as I can see, there's not much that uh, there's not much that comes from it. As far as um, retribution, besides maybe one cop getting put on leave or uh, fired, it, it carries on. It continues. This is a major, major problem. This is 1995 Million Man March, Washington, D.C. This is the police officer's type of police officer that we would have seen. Nice uniform, um, you know, a little security, belt, with a taser, a sidearm, you know, a little stuff like that. Communications, a badge, handcuffs, etc. 2011 Occupy Oakland. Um, incident. Riot helmets with shield, gas masks, Kevlar tactical body armor, 12 gauge shotgun with less lethal ammunition, and seriously, majorly lethal and explosive ammunition. Almost like a small grenade. Um, stuff that can unleash chemicals, flashbang grenades. Full body armor here, we're talking. Bean bag rounds in their guns, uh, rubber bullets, but then when the okay is given, it's full out buckshot and slugs and explosive incendiary rounds unleashed. Militarization of police. MRAP heavy duty crap. That's exactly what it is. It's a bunch of crap. And why do you take the equipment for war? Where do you take that equipment? Ask yourself. Well, of course, the answer is where there's a war. Now, this is a storage facility in the LAPD uh, building in their basement. This is the weapons they have at, at hand that they can use any time. Look at that. This is what the uh, normal police officer is going to be able to use. So, you know, they have the equipment. They are lacking manpower. Serious manpower is the only thing they're lacking. They're lacking the bodies to put out there who will kill their fellow Americans. They have the technology and sophistication to spy on us to find out everything we do. The ultimate goal is our death and destruction and enslavement and to move on to the new world order way of things. Here's another uh, article. U.S. police obtaining military vehicles to aid hunt for criminals. Give me a break. To aid in the hunt for criminals? Wow. <laughs> Armored military vehicle being given to Fox Valley law enforcement agencies. And this is from... Uh, uh, a month or so ago, we're seeing the small hometown police departments being armored and geared up with this stuff now. Police are getting the military's leftovers, armored trucks. Not just trucks, but everything. Everything and anything that they want. This is uh, from the Rutherford Institute. Let me enlarge in this for you. I know that they like to uh, make it blurry for some reason. 
drones, tanks, and grenade launchers. Oh, just great. Drones, tanks, and grenade launchers coming soon to a police department near you. This was in November 2013. And like I say, I like I always do, I'll leave the links below for all these articles. Um, this is the Munson Heavy Duty Military Equipment. And why isn't it going to where I need it to go? I don't know. Months and heavy duty military equipment given to police. Let me enlarge in this one for you. Yeah, that one was a little bit too enlarged. But this is a recent article. So it's all in the works, guys. They have everything but the necessary manpower to start their brutality. And uh, go to this thing here and check it out. Pentagon giving billions in military equipment to local police forces. Good. Go read this. Go check it out. Hope everyone's well and having a great day on the Sabbath day here. And I hope that we can all stick together here through all these lies and deceit, all the stuff that's going down, the setup by the media that, that that's happened with Clive and Bundy to uh, change the issue there. I hope we can all just stick together and focus. Remember what this is about. This is about freedom and our rights. This is Chatty Dad. One God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Our Second Amendment protects the first and the last, and all in between. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.